Hi, I'm Dimitri and in this tutorial I'll be walking you through tracking time in Clockify's desktop app for Mac. Start by creating your account on the Clockify web app. And if you've already got one, move on to installing the desktop app for your computer. You can download the app directly from our website. Click on the download icon and Clockify will be installed. Log in with email and manually type in your credentials, or log in with Google if you've connected your Clockify and Google accounts. Once you're in the app, you can start tracking time either with a timer or manually. You'll be in the timer mode by default, so you can click play to start the timer. To add more details to a running entry, click anywhere on the entry field, and then the window for details will open. Now you can add exactly what you're working on. Add a project and a task, mark the entry as billable, and add tags if you need more details, so that you can later segment your entries in reports. Click save to log the entered details, and stop the timer by clicking on the stop button when you want to save the entry. If you forgot to start the timer immediately, you can edit the start time in the same way, as well as change the end time and even the entry's date. Manual mode works in the same way. Switch to the manual mode by clicking on this list icon here. You'll notice the blue button has changed to a plus sign. Click on it and then you can manually add all the time entry details. You can also restart the timer on previously logged activities by clicking on the play button next to the entry duration. The timer will then start ticking with the same information, which you can further change if needed. To track your breaks, you can click on the little cup icon right here. When this is enabled, the icon will change and you start and stop the timer by clicking on it. The break entry will be saved with the default break project that you've set in the web app. You can set that up here in the workspace settings. If you want to delete an entry, you can click on it. Navigate down to this bin and then click Confirm. The desktop app will show you the total track time by day here and by week here. For more details, click on the Settings icon at the top right and choose Reports. This will open up the Reports section in the web app. Now let's go over some settings, different functions and customization options that the desktop app has to offer. We'll start with Preferences. The first group is the General Settings. Here you can set your personalized shortcut to start and stop the timer and also to show and hide the app. Check the box next to the setting and then click the Set button on the right. Type in the keyboard shortcut you'd like to use and then Clockify will pick it up. Next time you want to start the timer with your keyboard, you can use your shortcut. The Clockify desktop app offers multiple options for managing the app and letting you know when the timer has been started. If you enable the Show in Dock option, Clockify will appear in your computer's dock, making it easier to access. Right under that option, we've got Change Dock icon when the timer is running. Once checked, the icon in the dock will be black if the timer is not running and blue if the timer is running. The Show Timer in Status Bar option lets you see a Clockify timer ticking in the status bar, so you can easily glance over the time you've spent working. You can also choose the time format display, whether it be hours and minutes or hours, minutes and seconds. You can mark Show Project in Status Bar if you'd like the status bar to also include the project you're working on. And you can take it a step further by selecting Show Project Color in Status Bar. If you check Keep Clockify on top of other windows, the app window will always be visible as you switch to tools and tabs. Mark the start automatically when computer starts option and your time tracking requirements and logging are taken care of. Here you can change the theme from the system's default to light or dark. And finally, for the general tab, you can set the default project to be the last used one or you can choose a specific project from the list. Next up is the Reminder tab. This lets you customize the reminders you receive if you forget to start your timer. Once we click on this checkbox, this window will show up and we can start typing in when and how often we'd like to be reminded. Finally, we have the Timer tab. Here we can see multiple options for how your timer works for you. You can choose to stop the timer if your screen locks, your Mac goes to sleep, or if your Mac powers off. As for starting the timer, you can select that the timer starts when the computer wakes up, unlocks, or as soon as you start the app. To improve your productivity and control your working cycles, you can customize the Pomodoro timer. Just enter the duration in minutes for your work and break cycles. Clockify will then remind you when it's time to rest or get back to work. Another productivity hack is using the idle time option which detects inactive time. You can set the length of inactive time that will be considered idle. Later, when you're saving the entry, Clockify will warn you and give you a couple of options to deal with the idle time. You can discard idle time, which stops the timer and removes idle time, discard and continue, which will immediately start a new timer, keep idle time as part of the timer, or add idle time as a new entry. And that'll be all for the settings. Now we can look at some features that come in handy. The Mac desktop app also has an integrated screenshot feature. After screenshots are enabled in the workspace by an admin, 
Users will be notified that screenshot capturing is activated. You can check out your captured screenshots by clicking on the little camera icon here. Here you can revise the screenshots and delete some of the unnecessary ones. Besides using a timer or manual mode to track your time, Clockify's desktop app also gives you the option to track hours with an automatic time tracker. Auto Tracker notes all of your desktop activity, which you can then revise, delete, edit, and convert to time entries. Let's see how it works by clicking on the A icon in the top left. This auto tracker window will open. When you click start recording, it'll start tracking your desktop activity. Recorded time logs in the auto tracker are visible only to you. After you finish your workday, you can stop the recording by clicking on the same button and then you can revise your day. The timeline will show you your activity during the day, so you can easily spot any gaps. For each time slot, you'll see the name of the app or tool that's been used, more details on it in the description field, the link associated with it, start and end time, duration, and idle time. Idle time identifies time with no keyboard or mouse movement, so it helps you better understand your productivity or focus time during that day. To add a time log as a time entry, click on the plus icon on the right. Add the entry details and then click save. If you have a specific activity in mind, you can navigate through the days by clicking on the arrows. Or you can use the search option, where you can type a keyword to find the time log. Instead of managing each time log individually, you can select multiple time logs by clicking on the checkbox next to the logs. Or select all by choosing the box next to the app name tab. Then you'll be able to add time as individual entries, merge them in one, or delete the selected few from the auto tracker. Let's customize your auto tracker functionality. Click on the wheel icon to open the settings. And here you'll see some options. The first one lets you customize the length of the time needed for an activity to be picked up by the auto Auto tracker. Below you can choose to hide time logs that you've already added as entries, so that you avoid double adding the same time slot. The final option lets you include URLs of the visited sites or tools. Another handy thing is the fact that Clockify's auto tracker can be used even if you're offline. All your desktop activity will still be tracked, and you'll be able to transfer it as entries when you're back online. And that was our tutorial on the Clockify app for Mac. Check out our other tutorials for more ways you can track time using Clockify. Or you could visit our website and help center to learn more. Thanks for watching. See ya.